Hi, I'm Greg Brown. And I'm David Ivey, and this is Dynamic Discussions. This is another installment in a weekly video series we're bringing you about safety products and how to use them. This week's question is, why is it better to work in fall restraint than it is to work in fall arrest? First, we need to understand the difference between fall arrest and fall restraint. So fall arrest is where you're tied off to a personal fall arrest system and you actually have the ability to fall over an edge. If you're working on fall restraint, um, depending on if it's active or passive, either you're tied off to a personal fall arrest system um, and you can't get to an edge, uh, that's gonna be active fall restraint. Um, and then passive fall restraints using something like guardrail, um, so you physically can't get over an edge, uh, there's a barrier there. Yeah, and so there's, there's several different stages of the preference. We call it the hierarchy of fall protection. Number one is eliminate the hazard. Is there a way that you don't have to do that task? Is there a way that you can take what the hazard is, bring it to ground level? Uh, if that's not an option, then you go to restraint. The first restraint is passive. So you don't even have to wear a personal fall arrest kit on that. You're not in a harness because you're not in the neighborhood of a fall. Then you go to an active restraint where part of your PFAS is preventing you from getting to the area where you would have a fall. Then you move to arrest, where you can experience a fall, but your fall would be arrested. Then you go to controlled access zone, where there are markings or labelings preventing you from going to a certain area, but no PFAS on that one either. So when looking at fall arrest versus fall restraint there, obviously fall restraint is gonna come before the fall arrest in the hierarchy control. So if you have the availability to work in fall restraint, that's when you're gonna do it instead of fall arrest.